Okay, so now that we practiced doing one point perspective, okay, now we're going to start drawing and um, looking at your picture. Now, each of your pictures is going to look slightly different, um, but they should all be one point perspective. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the vanishing point. Okay, so it's just where all these angle lines are going back into space towards. So you can kind of see these lines are all converging. Okay, to this one point right here. Okay, so just looking at this is like the whole paper. Um, it looks like it's just slightly less than about the middle of the paper. Like this middle paper is here, just a little further down. So here, I'm in like it's a whole space with a vanishing point. I'm just going to say it's about right here. Okay, you're kind of guesstimating um, based on um, the picture. Okay, so it's not as precise as when we're doing the grid drawing. Okay, but what we're focusing on is, you know, all your buildings are going to go back to this vanishing point that you created. Okay, so I know there's a lot of visual information on this. Um, and what we're going to start doing is just kind of like what I call like mapping it out. We're kind of just like blocking off big sections of, um, of like the buildings. Okay, like you look at it like this is one building here. This is another building. Here's a building. Okay, we have this building. And some of them share like this. They share like the roof line here. So similar building. Um, this building goes up higher here. And there's another one that goes all the way up here. There's this other one. These other tiny itty bitty buildings back there. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking about like, let me just draw the outlines of the buildings. Okay, I'm not worried about all of these millions of windows. Um, and then I know these are like train tracks down here. I'm just going to think about it as like, you're just going to draw like a road basically. Um, I'm just going to simplify it. Like, I'm not going to worry about trying to draw, you know, all this little detail with the cars and stuff. Um, I'm really just focusing on buildings and, you know, whatever road path there is. Um, so that's what we're going to be focused on drawing. So I'm going to start mapping it out. And um, sure, let's start on this side. So we don't see the whole building, the top of the building, okay? So when you're starting to draw over here, you shouldn't, I should not be seeing you draw the top of a building over here. It goes, extends the end of the, um, the paper, okay? So this kind of like roof line right here, like this line, it's maybe it's not the roof line, just some like ornamentation of it. This line right here, I'm gonna draw for this building, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that part. So it goes, it starts right here in the corner. So what I'm going to do is I see that it starts in the corner there and I'm going to match my other side of the ruler to the vanishing point. I'm not, I'm not going to draw all the way through because I know it doesn't continue all the way through. Um, it's, you know, I'm just kind of about right through here. Okay. So it angles down. See how it's matching that angle I did here. And then it stops. Okay. About coming in about, about that much. In. Okay, we're kind of guesstimating a little bit more now. And um, we want to make sure that these are going to be perfectly vertical lines. So I, if you want to use like the edge of your paper and then just scoot it over. So I said, I don't know, about right here, it seems like that's where that building ends. And then I can just draw my line. Okay, now where it ends down here. Like with this one, I have all this like extra like platform and stuff down here. I'm gonna treat this as like one um, like long, like big like sidewalk area. Cause you can see people walking down there. So I'm just gonna say it's one big sidewalk area. So I'm just gonna kind of simplify this down. Um, so what I'm gonna do for mine is this sidewalk, if this is like this part down here, see how like this, this is the sidewalk. I know it's maybe not be hard to see in the video but through here. So if it ends right here, I'm gonna put it like down right here. Okay, so that's going to be where that sidewalk ends, right there. So actually my building should go down a little further. Okay, all right. So that's where that building is, okay. So I have this line here, I have, I'm showing this line, and this line is what I've drawn so far. I'm not worried about drawing all these windows and all this stuff, just anything, the outline of it. Now the next building, right next to it, also shares that same line. 
So actually, I think I went uh, far enough over that I don't need to draw any more of that. Now I'm going to draw the line going down. So see how it's like I'm mimicking this part here? Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay. And again, we want this to be a perfectly vertical line. So if this line's vertical, I'm just going to share it and I'm just going to move it over. I think it's about right there. It's a pretty narrow buildings. Okay. And then this part I don't need. Okay, so what I did is I'm matching this part here and I went down. Okay. Um, now there's this other part, like this part of you know, this building here. It drops down and then it goes over. So I'm going to drop it down. It starts here, looking at this line, and then that goes to the vanishing point. So I'm just going to draw that through. But I'm not going to go all the way over because it, you know, you can just draw it and then it, there's other buildings here. So I'm not going to draw all the way through to the vanishing point, but make sure I'm always lining up to the vanishing point. Maybe about right there. Let's see. I think I'll stop a little bit before that. I think I went over too far. And then now again, this line drops down. See, that's what I'm going to be drawing. And I'm going to draw that right here. So again, this is a pure vertical line. And it's pretty skinny. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, again, I went over a little too far. Okay. Um, all right, and now these buildings back here are much taller. Okay, so this right here to over here, this part of the building is facing like towards us. I know that because all of these windows are just regular rectangles. These are the sides of the building. So see how they're not like they're all at an angle. These are all angled towards the vanishing point. So it, it kind of gives the indication that if you can't see the whole building, but you know you're looking at the front of the building that's facing you because um, all these shapes are flat. Okay, so, and I know this part kind of goes up a little higher too, which is probably a continuation of, I don't know if it's that building or another building. So there is a little separation here. So I'm just gonna just draw that in real quick. And then this building starts. So right where this is, okay. That's where these, these like very rectangle windows are. So I'm going to put it here. Okay. So that's this part. So I would actually have to go back and draw like these little rectangle windows right here. So over here now it's kind of like this plain part where it's just like the brick um, or whatever part um, of the, the building. And where it ends, it matches up where this one is. So I'm just going to go and do another vertical line right there. So again, and make sure you make sure it's perfectly vertical lines. You're using a roller. So see what I'm mapping out like right now if someone was just to look at this and not see this, be like, well, you know, it doesn't look like anything right away. And that's okay. All right. So don't be like, oh, this looks really weird right now. It's like, we're, that's why we call them mapping it out. We're just kind of getting the big outlines done where it's, everything's supposed to be and then we can go in and we just start adding the windows and all the different you know stuff then it will look like buildings okay um okay so anyway so this building up here comes up to here and then actually has this line coming down so it starts up here and then it angles down okay so we're gonna have this angle down okay um and angles for a little bit and then it goes down so just going to make it go like here okay and then the buildings next to it all go like all the way up so you don't see the ends of them so they're like when you draw them they're just going to look like just more vertical lines they're not going to look like anything so I have like this um, one coming out like over here like that okay so that just goes all the way up to the edge of the paper you can't like it just keeps going so that's all you're gonna look like right now it's just gonna look like a line okay um, 
Yeah, and all these go along this here, because you can see that's what's going on here, because you only see the side of them. Okay, um, let's get the rest of this part in here. So that's like, I'm making this all part of the sidewalk. So where like the train tracks are, which are just going to make it be like just a road, they come in about like right here. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that in. Okay, 